algorithms are always presented and marketed as being completely objective, but they're not inherently objective, they're human made, they're creations of human design. Melinda Lohmann and I are doing our research on algorithms and law and on algorithm governance. So algorithms are human made. They're not pure math, but values are embedded in them. In order to build an algorithm, you basically need two components. You need on the one hand a historical data set. So you need to choose what data you want to um, feed into the algorithm and that's a choice. And on the other hand, you need, apart from the historical data set, you need a definition of success. And who defines that success? It's the person in charge, it's the person who's in power, and uh, they may have their own biases towards that definition of success. There are countless benefits involved in, in using algorithms for us as individuals and as a society. They, dis they simplify decision-making procedures, they help us uh, drive self-driving cars, they do the matchmaking on, on dating apps, they advise us with investment decisions, etc. But at the same time, there are also countless risks involved with using algorithms most notably um, social discrimination. So they are prone to reinforce social biases. Let me give you one example. In the US, it was reported that the US courts use an algorithm to assess the likelihood of a person to reoffend, And it turned out that this algorithm was racially biased um, determining or, or predicting that black defendants had a higher likelihood of reoffending than white defendants. Now, obviously, this algorithm isn't racist per se, but reinforces or, or perpetuates existing social biases leading to discrimination. So currently, there's been a lot of debate about algorithm governance and the question how we should regulate algorithms. For example, introducing a TÜV for algorithms that is a certification procedure or introducing labeling requirements creating an anti-discrimination law for algorithms, um, in enforcing self-regulation in the industry, etc. We believe that regulating algorithms uniformly is neither possible nor desirable. The situation or the subject matter is way too complex to have a, a one-size-fits-all solution. And um, we also have to be careful not to hinder innovation. So we should think about this and we should continue with this interdisciplinary discourse but try not to overregulate and see this as an opportunity as a society to decide which values we find are important and which values we want to fight for. So while we don't believe that an algorithm regulation as such is necessary and we don't believe it's desirable nor workable, we do believe though that we should look into specific areas and analyze questions from a legal and ethical perspective. For example, we've all booked flights online. And when we book flights, we get different prices. We get different prices depending on the phone we use, depending on the area we live in. And the question from a legal perspective is, is that possible under competition law? Is that possible under antitrust law? So we believe that we need to analyze different legal questions and um, try to find solutions in very specific areas.